carbon reduction for the BU estate. Uh, we've been working really hard on our um, climate and ecological crisis action fund. This year, we've already managed to move our business school building away from fossil fuel gas onto air source heat pump, and that'll save around 70 tonnes of carbon per year. And we're now planning our next projects, which will further reduce our carbon emissions. We offer carbon literacy training in a range of ways, both online and in person. And to date, we've certified around 70 students and 40 staff. And we offer it to students in a variety of ways, one of which is through their courses by working with academics to embed it within their programmes. Also through the Graduate Skills Programme. Since the carbon literacy training over the last six to six months or so, um, there's been various sort of um, initiatives that have come out um, just where we've um, putting that sort of sustainability and that carbon literacy to uh, more of the forefront. Um, the college has a um, strategic objective linked to sustainability. That is um, when we're working together with the governors on how we can actually start putting in targets and milestones and how we actually implement that sort of training across the college. We're home to the pioneering UK energy history and the Humber region has been identified by the UK government as one of the biggest emitters of carbon emissions in the UK and second in Europe. Actions here are central to the UK government hitting net zero by 2050. And this challenge is our biggest opportunity. We're already seeing benefits emerge from the training delivered, from helping businesses to accelerate their own journey to net zero and how we can further support them with our research and consultancy to colleagues making a difference across the estate on things like energy savings and generating other ideas. In collaboration with Federation University, Deakin University and partnering with the University of Queensland, the school led the rollout of the first carbon literacy training in 2021. This was the first delivery in Victoria, Australia. Since then, there has been seven carbon literacy training sessions. We at Swinburne currently have 183 students and staff who participated in the training. Our aim is to extend the carbon literacy education bronze status to the entirety of Swinburne University of Technology in 2025, while working towards silver certification for the School of Business, Law and Entrepreneurship. For over a decade we've been working hard to embed sustainability across our curriculum um, and the whole experience for, for students and carbon literacy is a really key part of that approach nowadays to make sure that our whole campus community is carbon literate and that they see the relevance of climate action on both their personal and professional lives. So in total, what that means is that we've trained over 200 people in the last 18 months with 256 actions pledged and potential carbon savings of over 70,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide equivalent so far. I'm really delighted that we've achieved the Bronze Carbon Literate Educator Award. At Bristol Medical School, we're deeply committed to sustainability and we believe that carbon literacy training is fundamental to help us achieve our net zero goal. And through our training, our staff and students have made some fantastic individual pledges. This includes reviewing our cold storage facilities, consolidating our purchase ordering, which has reduced the number of deliveries and packaging. We've reduced our business travel and we've introduced vegetarian and vegan catering to all of our meetings. I'm much encouraged by the way that the course showed the potential and interest in a collective endeavour and I just encourage everyone really to be part of that um, big project. In terms of future plans, um, what we're working on now is beginning to build up a much bigger pool of carbon literacy facilitators um, to support the embedding within the curriculum, um, the ongoing certification of staff and also to look at how we can extend that offer with businesses. We've already worked with a number of organisations to help bring in carbon literacy as part of their movement towards sustainability and carbon literacy is really great for organisations in terms of 
becoming aware of the need to operate in a much more sustainable way. So I think the biggest piece of advice I can give to other students and practitioners in this space is engage, engage, engage. Um, really everything is about that engagement, that cultural change, a shift in mindset and change in the narrative. And really everything fundamentally is driven by people. So let's make that change. <laughs>